your dismay. He seldom flushes. Rarely afraid. I'll show you numbers that should be displayed. He's a hero and one. you friends of the mathematical world, ready for another exciting episode with one of the planet's foremost logicians, are you? Good, because in today's story titled To Heck and Back, Lieutenant Dirk Niblick of the Math Brigade was feeling a little guilty. Not a little guilty, a lot guilty. All Dirk's neighbors were out on a beautiful day mowing their lawn, but Dirk wasn't. Do you know why? I'll tell them why. It's my show. I don't mow my lawn because last year I had the sod taken up and replaced it with artificial grass. So, Dirk doesn't need to mow his grass anymore. That's right, but I realize I actually enjoyed it. Oh, well. Yes, back to the task at hand, uh, whatever that is. I'll tell you what that is. My bank called me and told me one of my checks bounced. I've gone through all the other checks in my book, 500 of them and none of them bounce. That probability is mind-boggling. I think the bank may not be playing with a full FDIC. Suddenly, Dirk's doorbell chimed. I've got to get those chimes, too. Well, 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 if it isn't Mr. Beasley, my next-door neighbor. If it isn't Mr. Beasley, your next-door neighbor, these policemen really have the wrong guy. How may I serve you? Well, let's see. You could throw me up in the air and hit me with a tennis racket, or you could put a pomegranate in my mouth and bake me in your oven at 350 degrees for four hours, or... Come on, Measley, stop stalling. Oh, I'm sorry, officer. I just stopped by to ask you to pick up my mail while I'm away, Lieutenant Niblick. Oh, of course I will. How long will you be gone? Seven to ten years. What? He robbed a bank and got caught. You robbed a bank? That's what they say. Hard to believe, isn't it? I was always such a shy, self-effacing sort of chap. Well, yes. I'm sort of the last guy you'd think of who'd stick up a bank, huh? But these nice officers said I did it, so I'll be going now. Uh, thank you for watching the mail. Well, sure thing, but... Oh, listen, if you think of it, in a year or two, uh, you might feed the cat. I'd better look into this. And that's what our hero did, by gosh. He went right to City Hall. <laughs> now, 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 sir. I'm afraid you'll have to stop. How's come? You can't fight City Hall. Oh. Dirk decided to talk with the district attorney and find out what happened. Are you the district attorney, mister? Yes, and it shall be my duty not only to prosecute to the limit of the law all persons accused of crimes perpetrated within this county, but to defend with equal vigor. Why have you arrested Mr. Beasley? He robbed a bank in a nearby town. What town? A town called Heck. He went to Heck and robbed the Heck Savings Bank. To Heck, you say? The Heck, I don't. He robbed it at high noon, and we arrested him at home at 1 o'clock. We know he did it because witnesses described the getaway car as bright red. Beasley has a red car. Yes, but lots of people have red cars. Not with a duck-billed platypus on the antenna. Good point. Mind if I talk with Mr. Beasley? Not at all. He's in the third cell on the left. You'll recognize him from the racking sobs. It was nice of you to come, Lieutenant Niblick. Ah, uh, did I get any mail? Well, you've only been here for an hour, Mr. Beasley. The mail hasn't even been delivered. I know you didn't rob that bank, but have you ever been in the town of Heck? Not for a long time. I used to go to the annual Healthy Gums and Frontier Days celebration as a young man. How far away is Heck? It's about 75 miles. Uh-huh. How are the roads to Heck? Oh, a lot of potholes, but they're paved with good intentions. Where were you yesterday at high noon, Mr. Beasley? I went to the movies at 10 a.m. You went to the movies in the morning? Did anybody see you in the theater? I hope not. Then what happened? Well, I got out about 12.30, and the police arrested me when I drove up to my home at about 1 o'clock. How fast does your car go, Mr. Beasley? Well, if I slap the pedal to the metal, I can hit about 50 miles an hour, top speed. Mr. Beasley, I may have you out of here before the cock crows. Oh, for joy. But if it doesn't work out, uh, don't forget the mail. Even bring the occupant stuff, okay? Yes, I think I can prove that Mr. Beasley could not have robbed that bank at 12 noon. 
Well, you miniature detectives, have you spotted something that will prove that Mr. Beasley could not have robbed the Hex Savings Bank? <laughs> I must admit, I can't puzzle it out yet, but I'm going to keep using my old noodle. And after that, I'm going to try to solve the problem. I may even get a new noodle. I'm not sure, but I know this. We'll be back in our jiffy. Well, have you figured out what Lieutenant Dirk Niblick has figured out? I thought I had a minute ago, but it was not to be. Let's see what Dirk's doing. Well, I'll be a son of a gun. Dirk is in court. All right, Mr. Niblick. You've told the court that you have evidence that will prove your neighbor, Mr. Beasley, did not rob the Hex Savings Bank. I object. On what grounds? None in particular, but my wife says I'm very objectionable. You're out of order. No wonder I don't work very well anymore. If it please the court, Your Majesty. Go for it. I would like to call the court's attention to this chart. What about it? Mr. Beasley says he was at the movies from 10 until 12.30. But he has no witnesses. That's right. But his car can go no faster than 50 miles per hour. The bank is 75 miles away. I do get good mileage, though. So? He could have left town at 10.30 a.m., got to heck at noon, robbed the bank, and split. And then what, Mr. District Attorney? Then he was arrested. Yes, he was arrested in this town, one hour after the bank was robbed. He couldn't have gotten back here in one hour because his car only goes 50 miles per hour at top speed. Hey, that's right. I couldn't have robbed the bank. I didn't think I did it because I'm such a shy, self-effacing person. Even if Mr. Beasley was in heck, he could only have gotten within 25 miles of this town by 1 p.m. He is innocent as a newborn babe. Lieutenant Niblick, you make an excellent case. Mr. Beasley, you are released. Thank you. Thank you, one and all, for helping me believe in our wonderful system of justice once again. Suck a swamp through a straw. And so, as Lieutenant Dirk Niblick and his steel trap-like mind solve another case, we take solace in the knowledge that there are problem solvers like him around for when guys like us really get into trouble. I'm glad I could help you, Mr. Beasley, and you're doing a fine job mowing your lawn, if I may make so bold. Thank you, Lieutenant, and you're doing a fine job too, sir, whatever you're doing. And so he was, mowing his artificial grass with an artificial lawnmower. Gosh bless us all, Dirk Niblick. Gosh bless us all.